fluorescein. Now that's an interesting chemical. This neat little orange chemical is a fluorescent tracer dye. Named such because when mixed with water, it'll cause it to fluoresce, which is a handy application for following where leaks are in a pipe. But uh, my interest is purely scientific. So enough beating around the bush. You clicked on this video probably because I titled it something along the lines of turning an entire waterfall or a river green with fluorescein. And we'll get to that, but first I want you to kind of see what this chemical does. If you're not interested in the science and you just want to skip to that part, you may head to this timestamp, but I must warn you that... Huh. Well, I guess I don't really have a reason for you not to go, but I mean, come on, it's science. This is what I live for. Help a guy out. So if you're still here, then class is officially in session. Fluorescein is a compound comprised of 20 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and 5 oxygen atoms with a chemical name of dihydroxyspiral ben 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 Zen. Well, the rest doesn't matter. Um, suffice it to say that fluorescein is a chemical. And this chemical can come in one of two forms, either a polar or a non-polar molecule. The polar variant will uh, dissolve in solvents such as water, alcohol, glycol, and the non-polar form will dissolve in things such as oils. And no discussion of fluorescein would be complete without talking about one of my personal favorite phenomenon, fluorescence. Fluorescence is a process by which a chemical absorbs a high-energy form of light, such as ultraviolet light, and re-emits a photon of lower energy, such as green visible light. I use these two examples because this is what fluorescein does. As a reminder, this will be on the exam. So, let's get into the demo portion of today's video. So, here is approximately 2 liters of water, and as our UV light source, since we can't use the sun because the university keeps denying my request to knock out the two floors above us and put in a skylight, then I can use this 1000 watt UV table lamp. Safety first. So, with only one or two drops of fluorescein, I should be able to turn this entire two liter batch of water fluorescent. I forget whether I mentioned or not, fluorescein is only semi-soluble in water, so it'll take a little bit of time to completely mix. We can expedite this process by stirring. Some people will make the claim that fluorescein's not good for you, but this actually isn't true. Bottoms up. Yep, drinking glowing green water, so this is what it's come to. Fluorescein actually has some medical applications. Uh, I could name a few, but you probably won't find them very interesting. But suffice it to say, it is a safe beverage to drink, and is not in any way hazardous to wildlife should somebody... <sighs> I don't know, dump it in a river. I would not, however, recommend drinking fluorescein straight out of the bottle in its concentrated, non-diluted form. That might give you a pretty bad case of the rumblies. I think I've gotten quite enough tan for the day. So, if only two drops of fluorescein is enough to fluoresce an entire half gallon of water, then if we had a lot more fluorescein, we could dye an entire river like Chicago does for their annual St. Patrick's Day celebration. Actually, I think they may have changed to a vegetable-based dye to appease the hippies, but you know, it's basically the same thing. Huh, if only I could get that much fluorescein, but I don't even know where I'm gonna find that much. Ah, just kidding, I already purchased a gallon from the hardware store. This stuff is actually quite inexpensive. And if our ratio of fluorescein to water holds, then that means that with a gallon of fluorescein, we should be able to fluoresce over 67,000 gallons of water. And that brings us to the field trip for today's video. 
to travel to a nearby waterfall and pour the fluorescein over and allow the waterfall to mix it up and with luck we'll be able to turn the entire river system green. Now personally, I'm excited. I haven't been outside in nigh two months. So, I've got two words for you. Travel montage. had successfully turned the entire river green, much to the horror of the local tourist. And when we returned to the falls a few hours later, we had found that all of the fluorescine had been rinsed away by the falls, proving once and for all that dilution is the solution for pollution. <laughs> Did anybody get angry with you? Oh yes, I was given a stern warning never to do that again. I remember dabbing on the individual. It was a dance move in my time that looked like that. But trust me, it was really cool. Did you ever do it again? Oh, uh, well, that might make for an interesting story for another time. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, uh, why don't I tell you about the time that I single-handedly derailed the space elevator program? <laughs> uh, but, but later. I, I'm tired now. Run along, children. <laughs> Hello everybody, Editor Dayton here, coming to you on the eve of the upload. When I'm not making the world green with fluorescein, I like to make it green with trees. As many of you may be aware, the YouTuber Mr. Beast started a charity event to raise 20 million dollars and plant 20 million trees. It was a huge collaboration with all of the best YouTubers. I think my invitation must have gotten lost in the mail. Is this just gonna be a flash in the pan? Maybe. But still, it's nice to do some good for the planet every now and again. So, I wanted to help out. And the best way to do that is to take initiative. So, I'm gonna go online right now and donate $100. And remember, every tax-deductible dollar that you donate is a tree planted. So, I would encourage you to give anything that you're comfortable with. I wouldn't mind seeing a few more trees myself being trapped in this windowless room for months on end. Well, that's my good deed for the year. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. And as always, remember to stay safe and have fun.